Welcome in to Drew's Daily Diamond for Monday, August 19th, 2024. Getting the week started off right. I am Drew Martin breaking down the slate of games. Let me know in the comments below what your MLB picks are for tonight. Where do you agree? Where do you disagree? All is welcome. Smash that like button if you're liking the content as we got first game up. City Field, New York, 710 Eastern. Baltimore Orioles, New York Mets. David Peterson, the lefty, going for the Metropolitans. Trevor Rogers in a battle of southpaws here for the O's. Eight in the hook being the total. Minus a dollar and a quarter. That's the Mets as the home favorite. Peterson, he's been good. Back to back to back. Solid starts. They won the last two times he went out. Three flat ERA. Like this kid. First rounder out of Oregon. And he's up against Trevor Rogers here, guys. Look, he's just 2-11. and 11. He's got a 5 ERA. He's been on the Orioles for three starts now since being traded from the Miami Marlins. Two he's got blown up. One was decent. Overall, I, I mean, we just haven't seen him. We just haven't seen it from Rodgers. I don't think we can really bet on him at this point. So it's almost surprising to see the Mets laying 25 cents to the Orioles. It kind of jumps out at you. But I almost think it's the market telling us something here. I mean, Rodgers has a 7-7 to strikeout to walk ratio in his last three starts. That's not very good. That's not sustainable here. I know the Orioles 21 games over 500, but still, hey, I think uh, this number is kind of telling here. Mets have been good against lefties. Overall, let's go on the Mets to start us off over the Orioles, laying the 25 cents. Heading to the 8 o'clock hour up next, Pittsburgh Pirates, Texas Rangers. We get Luis Ortiz going for the Pirates, and it's still undecided. Tried to wait for uh, for a starting pitcher to break this one down, but I'm going to go with Jose Urena. It's his spot in the, in the uh, rotation here, so that's who I think we're going to get for the Rangers. But either way, we're going to list Ortiz so it's it, it, it's really, uh, you know, we'll see what the sports books do, but it's minus 125 right now. That's the Rangers is the home favorite, eight in the hook being the total. Pittsburgh, they did win two of three against the Seattle Mariners over the weekend after that long losing streak. So maybe it's a little bit of a bounce back form for them. But really the story here, guys, over the weekend, it was profitable for us going against the Rangers. They're just six and 16, their last 22 games, three and nine, their last 12 they are not playing good baseball. They're not a team I'm looking to bet on right now in any means. Um, and if it is Urena, he's been awful. 15 earned runs and 12 innings pitched. He's 0-3 his last three starts. So he's fade city. The team is not a bet on right now. And Ortiz for the Pirates, he's got a 3-4 ERA, the 25-year-old Dominican. And that's a tough schedule of recent. He was actually back-to-back -back against the Padres, which is tough. And also the starts before that, back-to-back -back against the Arizona Diamondbacks. So that usually doesn't happen. He's still a guy that's got 95 innings pitched, only 79 hits given up. Hey, we'll list him as the starter here, plus money. It's plus 105 on the Pirates fading the Texas Rangers. Heading to Petco Park up next, it's the Minnesota Twins, San Diego Padres, 940 Eastern start time. Zebby Matthews on the hill for the Twins. Michael King going for the Friars. Padres heavy home favorites here, minus 155, seven in the hook being the total. The Twins come in 70 and 54. The Padres 70 and 55. Two second place teams here, AL Central, NL West. The Twins have won uh, three of four actually against the uh, Texas Rangers who were we were fading. So we'll see if they can ride that kind of winning baseball here to Southern California. Padres, they've been good overall. I mean, they've been playing some good baseball of late. They're now up nine units year to date, only three games back of the Dodgers, heading down the home stretch here of the MLB regular season. But breaking down this matchup on the field here, Zebby Matthews, the starter for the Twins. If you haven't seen him pitch, he looks really good. He's got an interesting profile here, one you don't see a lot. It's unique. He was an eighth round draft pick out of Western Carolina, you know, not the, the top-notch, you know, prospect guy. And that was just in 2022. He's a guy that throws 95 miles per hour, and it kind of tells you what the organization thinks of him, putting that type of draft pick just a couple of years ago already in the show that he's making his second start. And when you look at his kind of profile coming up, he actually started this season in single A and then pitched 10 games in double A, four games in triple A, I mean, in AAA, at a 23 to 1 strikeout to walk ratio, his first start in MLB was pretty solid. Now, granted, he is going up against a good Padres lineup. It is worrisome here. 
but he's up against Michael King. Um, you know, solid numbers overall, three ERA, three FIP, 161 strikeouts. That's pretty massive. But the the kind of angle going out going at here is the Padres are in their first home game from a road trip, and the road trip just ended yesterday in Colorado. So they're going from a mile high, the thin air, down to you know near sea level here at Petco Park. I think that's going to uh, kind of affect them at least a bit, at least enough to not want to lay minus 155. This is a heavy number on the Padres. Instead, we'll flip it, listing Zebby Matthews. They have a good start here. He's got good stuff. Plus 141. That's the Twins, the big barking dog in Petco Park. 945 Eastern, West Coast here. San Francisco Giants hosting the Chicago White Sox. Jonathan Cannon on the hill for the White Sox. Kyle Harrison, the lefty, going for the Giants. Giants minus 225 home favorites. Total of eight. The White Sox 30 and 95, 12 and 51 on the road. So kind of a tough profile here. They're not, they're now down almost 50 units on the season. But Jonathan Canning on the hill. He's been one of their better starters, 24-year-old out of Georgia, the former Bulldog, four flat ERA. He's one and one in his last three starts. I mean, for for the White Sox. That's not bad. So if you're betting on him, you kind of want him on the hill. Kyle Harrison, the starter for the Giants, 23-year-old out of De La Salle High School. He's six and five on the season, four ERA, kind of similar numbers as Harris as Jonathan Cannon, the guy he's opposing, actually. And he's just averaging four innings, his last three starts. So he's not getting any depth in his starts. He's actually given up 11 earned runs in his last 12 innings, giving up six bombs as well. So Seeing Harrison on the hill laying 225, I mean, I know the Giants are 500, but still, I, I just think it's too pricey here, guys. If you're looking to take a swing, you know, this isn't best bet by any means, but plus 202, risk 100 to win 202. Hey, the White Sox, another big barking dog here. We'll go on the White Sox on the money line over the Giants. It's just too pricey on San Francisco tonight. Got one game left. Guys, a reminder, if you could comment below, it does help out the algorithm. Looking to uh, grow the show here. Any questions, fire away as well. What you're looking to bet. So, uh, yeah, in the comments below, smash that like button if you're liking the content. Also, check out Premium Picks, wagertalk.com, experts page, Drew Martin. All right, last game on the slate, the nightcap, if you will, 10-10 Eastern, 7-10 local time. Seattle Mariners, L.A. Dodgers, Gavin Stone, up against Woo for the Mariners. Total of eight, minus 140. That's the Dodgers as the home favorite. Mariners come in three games over 500. They have lost five of six. So, you know, not playing their best baseball, although scoring 10 runs yesterday. Maybe it is a little bit of a buy low spot on the M's. And they got Woo on the hill. This kid's five and one, two flat ERA, 19 to one strikeout to walk ratio. His last three starts, like betting on this guy. He went seven innings, zero earned runs against the Phillies, six innings, zero earned runs earlier against the Yankees. I'm bringing those up because, you know, against the better lineups, he has still fared very well in terms of the numbers. And the Dodgers are a better lineup. The, the angle here I'm liking on the Mariners is Gavin Stone's the starter for the Dodgers. And overall, this is their first game home off of a seven game road trip. Don't like that spot. But Gavin so Stone, since July 1st, so July and August, he's given up 48 hits and 32 innings pitched and nine home runs. This guy has been bombed. Six ERA, six FIP. He's just one in three since the start of July. Hey, having to lay a price with Gavin Stone on the hill, I do not recommend it. We'll actually flip that here. We're on the Mariners to end the Monday night card plus 124. Risk 100 to win 124. In recap, we got the White Sox plus 202. We got the Minnesota Twins plus 141. We got the Pittsburgh Pirates plus 105. And we got the New York Mets minus 125. One favorite, four dogs for you. So let's get those uh, roof, roof. Those dogs barking on Monday. Guys, thanks for tuning in. That's going to do it for the Monday show. We'll be back early on Tuesday. Come back and join us. Smash that like button. Comment below. Cash those tickets.